are doing well in this section of my video we will be going through the concept of the law of refraction which is very important which is a topic of chapter number 10 reflection NCRT class 10 as the law of reflection is very important it is a Snell's law let us start what a law is and then we will go through the statement of it as the statement is basically related to the expression of that particular law. So this law can be applied to wide variety of cases. Let us to start with a single case in which a light ray is traveling from let us suppose medium 1 to another medium 2. Considering the refractive index of medium 1 is mu 1 and refractive index of medium 2 is mu 2. Mu1 and Mu2 represent the refractive indices and both are different. As you can observe, the ray of incident ray and the refracted ray from the diagram it is clear that the light is travelling from a rarer medium to a denser medium. Having refractive index of rarer medium as Mu1 and refractive index of denser medium as mu2. Here are the angles. Angle A O X represents the angle of incidence and angle B O Y represents the angle of refraction. Now what does this Snell's law say? So on behalf of Snell's law, according to Snell's law, according to Snell's law, we may write 1 mu 2 which is the refractive index of medium 2 to that of medium 1 which can also be written as mu 2 by mu 1 where mu 2 represents the refractive index of medium 2 and mu 1 represents the refractive index of medium 1 is equal to the sign of the angle of incidence Sign of the angle of incidence means the angle which is made by the ray in the rarer medium. 2. Sign of the angle of refraction. Sign of the angle of refraction means the angle made by the ray in the denser medium. Which is always constant for a given pair of media. Which means for a given pair of media this ratio always remains constant and this is termed as this can be termed as Snell's law. So how you define Snell's law? Sine of the angle of incidence to sine of the angle of refraction is always constant for a given pair of media which is equal to the refractive index. This is a very important concept of refraction that is the law of refraction i hope you have understood this concept well thank you